We're home again. A lot of things to do. Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Stuart. I've got to talk to Stuart. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere. And they're the person I'm supposed to sell all of my crafted things to. Which would be really nice now that I can finally have a good source of money and I assume also buy good stuff from them as well. I think I'm going to have to make baby milk. Probably a nappy. Geepy's on my desk again trying to eat my microphone cord, baby. That's the front door. I always go there first. What was that? Charcoal time seven. What can I make, by the way? Like, still no weapon. Antiseptic? Wait, knockout juice. Gives people a good night's sleep. Not the same as sleep tight. Don't ask me why. Hmm. <laughs> I can't use it on its own though, right? Right, because I say crafting ingredient, not like a usable thing. Time for yum yums. <laughs> Baby happy sounds. Let's sleep. It's still shocking to me how little your health actually goes back from sleeping. It's not really worth sleeping a long time just to get your health back. Just take a craft, just take a medicated balm or whatever. It's not like they're that rare or anything. You're tired, aren't you? I'm gonna be so tired you could cry too. Did you know that? Why don't you close your lovely eyes? The girl needs her beauty sleep. Wouldn't you like to have some lovely dreams? Mummy could really use some lovely dreams. They yeah, really could. Little baby burrito. Do I have the stuff to make a filter. Of course I don't. I can't tinker. Oh, that's a nice detail. Now that it's been some time, we've cleaned up the kitchen. But yeah, we wouldn't be able to make a water filter. We have to get that from somebody. Because that's not the sort of person we are. Right. Where to? Oh, wait. We have a lot of points. Mmm, sneak thief, don't care. Smooth talker, don't care, but it does unlock other stuff. Notice footsteps from further away, that's good, but... I don't think I'm going to have a really stealthy playstyle, even though this is a stealthy character. Better prices when buying and selling at shopkeepers. Shopkeepers charge 125% of base price instead of 150%. Okay, so basically 25% better buying and selling. 50 pounds more carrying capacity. That'd be fantastic. Uh, let's get the Hackler, though. And then next... Find fancier loot. Ooh. An herbalist. Heal better. 50% more effective healing items. That would be great. Um, yeah. Where are we going? Down here, and there's a shelter right next to him. Okay, well, this is totally unexplored territory, so 
I'm not gonna Something cut. Happening. Nope. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just gonna run and just hope nothing bad happens. Gotta go through another bridge. But again, not a problem for us. Bloody revolvers. I've got a sunshine somewhere, haven't I? Hmm. I do. Right, that's the one, that's the drug that I don't think I ever used as Arthur, but it makes it look like you're on Joy, but you're not. <laughs> we even have the Joy walk. We're probably just putting that on, though, right? Just acting. Ooh, I could actually get through this right now. Yeah. Don't make me come find you. We've got better things to do. Just keep checking the map for any quests that I might have run past. Oh, there's Cuddy's shop. And this is the cozy tea park. Hmm, tea. We only want to help you feel better. Sorry, mustache. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. I know. Yeah, that's it. Keep running. Sometimes they get pissed off really quickly like that, and other times they just barely seem to care. It's really strange. Do I want to go to Cuddy's shop? Do you think they'd have like a really good weapon for me to get? Show yourself. I'm done fooling around. Oh god, there's a doctor there. Hmm. Chemist? No, shelter first. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Right. What cuts it? I've had it with you. I'm done fooling around. It's fun to shove people. Right. I'm at it with you. I'm done fooling around. Ah. <laughs> Sounds like they hit me. <laughs> All right, we're fine. Bleach and bricks. Let's keep looting before I dump off stuff. Damp Diary. Ah, oh, we got that as Arthur as well. Yeah, I think this is Prue. Maybe? Not sure. But either way, we've seen it before. Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you sold him the stars. 
And now I can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. Do you ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. That didn't go how I thought it would. Do we have to, like, sneak in? Lovely weather. Lovely day for it. Oh, it's been too long. Get out of here. Get out, you witch. Well, she's mellowed. Fiona said Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later. When she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works for the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favor. I'll drop by his house. Oh, that's just right here. Where do you think you're going? Oh. Well, look at you. Right is right. Right is right. Here? Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. Well, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What? What happened to your eyes? Oh, this little thing. A doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know, you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back, and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> Jesus. Everything's so much more complicated. Everything's got 20 steps. Still Dr. Hughes' bag. That's just right over here. Oh, let's go to Cuddy's shop, see if they sell weapons or anything. What's your fancy? Is that a new suit? It's fantastic. Lovely day for it. How can I help you? Just food, and I'm certainly not buying any of their fucking food. The House of Doctors. Right, this place. Wow. You can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. Random screaming. Cool. Can I craft anything? Are there any skills I want for the cost of three? No. Crash syringe? I can use that on others. And it uses common stuff that I have a bunch of. Let's make a couple. Oh, I actually would be able to make a water filter myself. I don't need a workshop thing for that. I just need a metal tube. Yeah, nothing here. Just make some of those things. Make some more healing things. So I can't... You use those chemicals directly, right? They said crafting ingredients. Nope. But the crash syringe will be useful. I 
Better be particularly careful in there. If he knows I'm there, it'll get nasty fast. Yeah, I probably shouldn't get into combat here. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, oh god. You need this. Thank goodness. Anything else I can use here? Crash syringe, I mean... I suppose so. Uh, that only works on the back, doesn't it? Shit. Yeah, nah. We just want to make you... Satisfying than undermining the other girl's confidence. Electric truncheon? I could probably use that. I don't think that's heavy. Definitely should loot the doctors. They have good stuff. I think that's a whole building cleared out, probably. Hmm. That looks... That like looks very broken. What does it matter, though? They're dead. <laughs> Dump some things. I guess I'll dump this too. I can't use it. This electric truncheon is just about to break. We happy hippos. Nothing else I can use. Oh, good. Oh. oh no, you're a totally different one. Fuck. 
Is there anything else I can use? No. There isn't. There really isn't. I can't punch him. Is that beam that they're using healing themselves? Man, I need a freaking weapon. Like, what do I need to craft these things? What am I missing? Hallucinex. I'm missing butterflies. I have no idea how to get butterflies. Pointy stick. I'm missing a branch. I can't pay that hard to get. Berserk dart. I just need darts. For a dart, I need feathers and big splinters. Ah, I don't know. Uh oh. I think I need to regroup and come back here. <laughs> Actually, I changed my mind. Rather than coming back here, let's just try to be stealthy for just a little bit. Surely I can do that. Maybe I do want to try to give him a crash syringe. Let's just go upstairs. Oh god. Dr. Clive. If I inject them, what's going to happen? I don't know. Okay, they're sad now, but I don't think they really did anything. <laughs> Just made them sad, didn't it? Ooh, good crafting ingredients. Rare stuff. God, there's so many fucking doctors in here. Cricket Bat. Do I finally have a weapon? Yes, and it's in good condition. Of course, it's not very good, though. There's still so many doctors in here, though. I, I can't get into a fight with, like, five of them. Somewhat. Oh, they can smell me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Should be f fine. I gotta get past you. What's going on? How are you? Get out, or I'll make you get out. Don't struggle. This won't hurt a bit. Okay, we gotta kick this into gear. Oh, fuck. They seem confused. December 10th, 1950. Dear Diary, I don't see why they sent me to live... to... to live off... What? Sent me to live off to live here? It's not as if everyone in the village doesn't already know my condition. This is just so they can pretend. They're all about pretending, aren't they? The food is horrid. How can I eat for two when I can barely keep the food down? Head... cheese? 
What? I hope they'll let me go home for Christmas. God knows what cookie we'll put in the fruitcake. She hates us all. December 12th, 1950. The ladies in the village gave me that look again, but I refused to hide away in this house for six months. Six months? It'll be summer then. Strange to think how I'll just go home afterwards and we'll all pretend nothing happened. Like when Margie Oliphant came back and everyone pretended she'd been visiting cousins across the bridge. No one will ever marry her now. Nor me, I suppose. Not unless I can move away. I wonder if a man can tell. Will my body be different? No one will tell me anything useful. December 19th. Oh my god, I'm never leaving the house again. I don't care if we are required to go to church. Those women are lunatics the way they ganged up on me. You'd think they'd be glad I'm giving up the baby. They put their children on the train. Wouldn't they want another child? But no, I'm apparently the worst sin in the world for sending mine away. Am I supposed to raise it here? Much better for it to go live on a farm. How they screamed at me. Rabbit dogs. My heart is still pounding. I hate them. Someday I'm going to punish them. I'm going to punish them all. Didn't mean to do that, but who cares? Get out, What's or that? I'll make you get out. Quite a sturdy bag. Ah. I wonder if Gwen would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe, right. some I'm source of oxygen, and soundproofing in case she starts crying. Ooh, am I gonna I turn that turn that bag into a little mobile carrier for them? Give her the bag. Over here? Yeah. I could make something like that. Baby transport. <laughs> We're trying to make all these gadgets, just need all the parts for all of them. It's really cool. I don't suppose I can uh, continue this quest. Nope, 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 nope. Stop screaming. Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Rat Home via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio! Like other babies, Gwen needs to have her diaper changed. Attend her before time runs out. Ugh, nasty. I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch, now that I've got the code. Oh, I just got nine skill points. They really give out skill points very fast. I like that. Let's get the one that gives me fancier loot. Let's also get plus 50 pounds carrying capacity. Is that your hungry cry or your tired cry? It all just sounds like loud sometimes. Let's talk with Lionel about the baby carrying transport bag. Afternoon. I've got another little tinkering job for you, Lionel. I do so enjoy these little commissions. No one else challenges my imagination quite like you do. That's a rather odd bag. What would you need that for? Oh, that's for certain compounds that have to be kept at a very specific temperature and pressure. Aren't you clever? Hmm. Well, it might take a little while, but... I think I can figure it out. Come on back in a little while. Hmm, they also have a lot of items to buy, including a couple weapons. I just sold some stuff. And how I can afford any of them. Either a cleaver, I imagine these are all going to be fully healed. 
or the sledger. That's non-lethal. I think I prefer the cleaver. Yeah, neither of those are heavy. Cleaver does more damage, more effort, lower speed. I don't know, almost sounds like the sledger is better, but this does cause bleeding and... I mean, it's a cleaver, like... That's just pretty cool, that's nasty. See you soon, I'm sure. Rock, mate. Rock. Lovely day for it. Right -o. Let's travel to the Ratholm hatch. Well, that's enough of being here. All off. Oh, I think I crafted a torch, yes. I won't let anyone take my little girls away. How do you plan to manage that? You mustn't lie to them. I'm not. I said, how do you plan... Jesus Christ. Oh! Whoa! Ha ha! I think they have their own cleaver. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide and not in her house. Cleaver, brawly, scotch. I don't think... They were infected. The eager cleaver. Bigger bangers. A lot of them. Glad I found this place. Would have been easy to miss. Eager Cleaver. Take care of your knife and it'll take care of your enemies. Moderate damage, very durable, much more likely to cause bleeding. All oh, right, it's sharpened. All right. Yep, more damage. More speed. Nice. Dreamy BB, trains beans on my desk. She wants food. Lovely weather. God, this place is just a toxic waste dump, isn't it? Surprisingly, it's not asking me to put on my mask. I do have one, though, so it's not a problem. Bigger banger. Yeah, let's have the bigger bangers out. Let's get some bonuses going on.
I see infecteds. The atmosphere here is so cool. Let's see how good this cleaver is. Let's see how much bleeding hurts them. Like, I want to see them die from bleeding. Doesn't seem to be doing much. Oh, I need to make more things. Healing things. Now don't go peaching on me to teach her. Hey, I can make knockout syringes now? Hell yeah. What did I finally get? Knockout juice. I don't know when I got that. I can make 10 with this? Hell yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of them. I think I should just run away from them. Or maybe take this weird route. I think this really helps me. If I ever noticed just how this game changes the sound based on the environment. There's actually some like sound modeling going on. Did you hear how it sounded like we're in a cave in here? Why am I looting them? They rarely have anything and if they do it's just a little bit of drugs. Oh I finally have a branch and some feathers. That one's the sacred mushroom. Always gotta leave one so they grow back again, right? Always gotta leave three so they grow back again, right? to see some horribly mutated Cheshire cat made from one of these trees. How? Oh. Where do I get the key card to this? Looks like they can't come in, thankfully. Look, we 
really need this. So-called toxic water. May 12, 1963, to Jimmy Cardigan Waste Pump Supervisor from Verloc. I was dismayed to learn that six Rattle employees quit over fears that the Joy Factory wastewater causes plague. A better supervisor would surely have stopped such rumor mongering. It is your own fault for rejecting my suggestion that you test the waters on wastrels to allay worker fears. I was quite insulted by your suggestion that these experiments would be unethical. We cannot cure wastrels. Therefore, surely experimenting on them is the correct ethical choice. Logic clearly dictates that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. If you cannot see your way to agree, then perhaps someone else would be better suited to be a supervisor. Well, that's broken. I do have the thing that makes better loot appear in things. Whoa, pipe wrench. So maybe it's worth picking these? I don't know. Maybe there's a keycard in one of these. There wasn't a keycard in one of these. Whoa, what? Oh my god, I didn't even see that. That was a complete accident. Pipe wrench is heavy, of course. The Brawly has good blocking, but only inflicts white damage. White damage? Light damage. Of course. 